the Resume Marathon 125, Project Build, welding has taken place. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator L. So uh, this is a follow-up video to the last video uh, about this Project Build, which I've got going on on this uh, Resume Marathon 125, the Supermotor, which I'm going to eventually turn into a full-on Enduro. Uh, anyway, so uh, I tackled the uh, exhaust today and welded it all the all the way around it's pretty much a huge crack went from here all the way all the way all the way around there to there so uh that's all welded up yeah it looks a bit rough but you know it's okay it'll do so that's that uh let me show you the bit of welding as well Okay, so the engine mounts, or the top engine mounts on the bike, were uh, broken. There was two of them that were broken. I tried to source the parts, and there's one uh, I could get, but I'm not sure when it's going to arrive. And then the other one I just couldn't get at all. So I, I thought, you know what, let me try and weld them. And it worked. They, they've, uh, they've been welded, and they're in situ, and the... Uh, the engine is nice and firm. Let me show you. Let me get this head torch for you. Right, uh, so there we have it. There's uh, one mount there, and it's been welded right there. And then there's uh, another mount underneath this cable right there, and it's been welded there. So uh, that's all in place, and it's not coming off. Well, hopefully. So getting parts, the place where I thought I could get all the parts uh, for the Rezu here in the UK, the online, uh, the website, uh, Urban Moto or something, uh, Urban Moto Parts, I uh, had a quick email with them uh, today and um, they have stopped being the importer of uh, the parts of Rezu. There's another one called Moto Mondo. Uh, I went to their website and they don't have any part selection, so I might have to drop them an email. Uh, but right now I'm able to get some parts, but I might not be able to get all parts, especially when I do the full strip down and engine rebuild. So that's a bit of research needed for me. Um, still waiting on the parts. I've got some come through today. Hold on. There we go. Braking clutch master cylinder as well and got the little brake light switch on there as well because i wasn't sure if it came with it but obviously it does ah nice little blue yeah should look quite nice quite bling really isn't it uh cheapest chips you know from from amazonia you know i only went for generic so i'm not after anything uh, in particular uh you know, I've bought these things before uh, off Amazon, eBay, or AliExpress, and I've got to say they're all right. You know, they they work absolutely fine. You can always pick up a dud, of course you can, and some don't work, whatever for whatever reason. But that's the same for any part. But I'd say, do you know what? That my experience of uh, built bikes I've built before, they've been absolutely fine. So there we go. Time will tell whether I'm proven right or not, won't it? You know, sun's just going down here, so. Uh, it's a bit awkward to get a decent angle without the light being completely uh, foo fooed. Anyway, uh, so a couple of things I'm waiting for now. I'm waiting for the steering head bearings, and they're going to be about another week or so before they get here. I've got the brake pads arriving tomorrow, so I could install those, but I'm still waiting to find uh, any brake caliper rebuild kits as well. So if I don't do that now, that's definitely something I'll be doing uh, in the uh, the full restoration in, in, in winter, let's say. Uh, but that's it. I've pretty much stripped the bike uh, to all its bare essentials now. Uh, again, I've been sort of troubleshooting some uh, wiring issues and I found a few other little issues today. Uh, wiring and just sort of wires had just been cut and left exposed. So had to sort those out and trace them back to uh, things as well. Um, it's amazing what you find, isn't it? You know, but there we go. That's uh, that's what happens when you buy a, a used bike, isn't it? You kind of have to go through everything just to uh, just to uh, work everything out. But anyway, so rewilded the uh, exhaust. Got the exhaust gasket coming. That's going about another week or so. And uh, welded the engine mounts. That's it. Just waiting for parts now that I can start putting it all back together. Um, but there we go. That's it. That's it uh, for today. Uh, so another sort of day uh, in and out of the workshop. Uh, and uh, do you know what? I'm actually going to go out on the heroic Harley now and uh, go for a nice little sunset ride. And I think that's exactly what the doctor ordered i would say but anyway uh more videos coming more sort of tech help coming as well i suppose the purpose of this video really was uh not to show off my welding because it still isn't great 
but any kind of welding that you can do yourself if you can learn to weld uh you know mig weld uh, it's just you know it just saves yourself so much trouble and you can fix things really easy i always say so i'm so glad i've taught myself i took the time to teach myself and uh get yourself a decent bottle of gas and uh, any old uh, mig welder will do you don't have to go spend thousands and thousands just a couple of hundred quid or whatever on a mig welder and uh yeah i mean you'd be able to do repairs with with it i suppose i mean that's all you can hope for really so and you know keep yourself uh, rolling down the road uh whether it's a car or bike anyway so uh i'll um wait for the exhaust gasket to come refit that as with everything else that's it for this video more coming as soon as i get parts i'll start uh, telling you what i've done and hopefully it won't look like a bag of spanners when i'm finished with it right that's the plan anyway but as always don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share and check out the website revelatoralf.com loads of stuff on there uh, whether you're looking for specs on different bikes whether electric whether petrol just find the brand name and see if i've got it on there i am adding specs uh, all the time uh, as and when i'm able as well so all the harley stuff is there uh, all the harley pages are still there just go under brand name harley davidson and you'll find it as well uh, for all the soft tail and the m8 stuff as well so that's all still there it hasn't disappeared but that's it on to the next one ta-da